Hey there skincare junkie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to talk about a couple of things that I use in my daily skincare routine that have made all of the difference. These are the secret serums that I've used to help knock years off of my age. I don't have any Botox, I don't have fillers, I've not had any surgery, I am going all natural so I like to experiment with DIY skincare. I love my plasma pen, I love microneedling, my favourite is my radio frequency machine. And while it would be super easy for me to go and inject my face with toxins and look super young super quick, I don't have any clinics nearby where I am, but I also kind of like the whole looking natural as you age rather than looking like your skin is made of wax. So to kick this video off, I want to talk about Coxeer EGF Peptide Serum. <laughs> I swear this is an absolute miracle in a bottle. I use way more of it than I should do because I really just can't get enough. In fact, I've gone through three bottles in three months. Now on average, a bottle this size should last around about two to three months when used sparingly. Those of you who already know me know, I don't do anything in moderation. So literally I slather this stuff on. Now this is super useful after you've microneedled or you've used a plasma pen because it really does help encourage the healing. EG F, which is also known as growth factor really does help with cellular turnover it can help get rid of scars it can speed up healing calms the skin soothes the skin brightens the skin improves your complexion like literally it does so much but obviously me talking about how great this is is all good and well but you probably want to know more about the ingredients that are inside this so today we're going to get scientific as scientific as i can get so as i mentioned coxia intensive egf peptide serum is formulated with ingredients that stimulate cellular turnover, cellular growth, and regeneration. And basically what this does is it targets premature lines and wrinkles, blemishes, sagging skin, all of that kind of stuff to reveal a brighter, more useful complexion that leaves your skin looking super energized and fresh. So this is a Korean brand. Of course, Korea is famous for its skincare products. This one definitely doesn't fail to deliver. So it contains EGF, it contains peptides, and it contains collagen, but there's a whole host of other ingredients that are great for your skin in this. So let's take a closer look at the ingredients. So the first ingredient that we should talk about is the star ingredient of this, which is EGF, also known as epidermal growth factor. The type of EGF that this serum contains is SH oligopeptide 1. I think that's right. So looking from a scientific point of view, growth factors are small proteins or reasonably large peptides that consist of 53 different amino acids. And the way that they work is by stimulating cell production, healing and cellular proliferation. So basically what that means is it encourages your skin to produce more collagen, to turn over the skin cells to reveal fresher and brighter skin, which in turn reveals a better complexion, minimizes scarring, can help minimize the appearance of your pores like literally so much so whenever you're doing collagen induction therapy such as microneedling or derma rolling you really want to be using one of these afterwards to get it to penetrate as deep into the skin as possible because this stuff is like liquid gold when it comes to things that actually really work on your skin and make a real difference egf is the star of the show the next ingredient that is contained in this egf peptide serum is copper tripeptide one also known as GHK-CU. Now this peptide is found in the grossest parts of the human body. You'll find it in urine, you find it in saliva, it's found in plasma. And while the places where it naturally occurs are pretty gross, its healing abilities are crazy. So when it enters scar tissue, it's actually able to break down large collagen molecules that the body can't do on its own. And then after that, what it does is it stimulates collagen production with fresh collagen, minimizing and sometimes Times eliminating scars completely. It also encourages the production of skin identical ingredients such as elastin which is a key component in the scaffolding that keeps our skin firm and tight. Other benefits of copper peptides include anti-inflammatory effects and antioxidant effects. And for you guys out there who suffer with hereditary hair loss, it's actually been shown to stimulate follicular regeneration and the regrowth of hair. Of course, the studies on this have been pretty small and more research needs to be done. But if it can regenerate hair follicles, just imagine what it's doing to your skin. But don't worry, you're not going to go growing a full beard. 
The next ingredient we will touch on is hydrolyzed collagen. Now this one's a little bit misleading because hydrolyzed collagen isn't actually collagen, but instead a varying mix of reasonably large peptides. Now the reason hydrolyzed collagen is a great addition to any skincare product is that it's a great humectant and moisturizer, which basically means it helps the skin hold on to water. And as we all know, hydrated skin always looks better than dehydrated skin. Another slightly bizarre ingredient that you'll find in this serum is snail secretion filtrate. Now snail sounds bad enough, let alone the word secretion, which is gross. But if you're into your Korean beauty products, you'll know that snail secretion is huge. So basically snail slime is known for its reparative and hydration properties. Research has shown that it's able to help dry patches of skin heal, reduce the signs of visible aging, prevent acne from breaking out, it goes on and on and on. Now how much of this is true, I don't know. But what I do know is it's contained in this serum and my skin has been responding so well to it, it's part of the ingredients list, so maybe it's played a key role, who knows? So basically, snail slime is a blend of proteoglycans, glycosaminoglycans, that was difficult, glycoprotein enzymes, copper peptides, hyaluronic acid, iron, zinc, copper, all of these things. Now, the slime that they actually harvest does come from the common garden snail, and they produce a slime when they're stressed. So you'll see these trails running along windowsills, over gravel, anything that, that they're going to struggle to get over, they produce a slime to protect their body. And this slime, obviously, is great for our skin. Gross ingredient, but you know, it's all in the name of beauty, right? Now we'll move over to the more natural botanical extracts that this serum contains. So the first extract that I want to talk about is Lonicera japonica, which is also known as honeysuckle. This is a hugely popular ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine, but modern research has also shown that this plant contains more than 140 different compounds that possibly contain antiviral, antibacterial, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and HEPA protective activities. But when used in skincare, it has two different actions. The first one is that it's extremely soothing on the skin. And the second one is that it's a fantastic anti-inflammatory. So if you suffer from acne or you've done a recent collagen induction therapy treatment with your microneedling pen or derma roller, then this is really gonna help your skin to stay calm, recover quickly. And when combined with the other ingredients in this peptide serum, it can produce almost miracle-like effects. The next botanical extract that's on this list is one that everyone knows about. So if you don't know what honeysuckle is, don't worry, but I'm sure I'm absolutely certain you know what a tomato is. So this serum contains like a persicum extract, which is basically tomato extract. Now tomato is known for its anti-inflammatory properties, but it's also great for cellular regeneration. We know that tomatoes are great when you eat them. They're great for the inside of your body. They're also great for the outside of your body. And the addition in this peptide serum just goes to show that. Other botanical extracts include chrysanthemum, lilium, also known as lilies, and nelumbium, which I have no idea what that is. So now let's get back to the more scientific geeky bits. Another compound found inside this serum is adenosine. Now this is an awesome little compound that is found in each and every one of our bodies. And what it does in our bodies is basically act like a signaler for cells. But when you apply it to your facial skin, it actually provides a few different benefits. The first one is that it can really help with wound healing. It's also a fantastic anti-inflammatory agent and it's been shown to improve skin elasticity and firmness. But my favorite function that it provides is that it acts as a barrier or basically a second skin, which I find super beneficial once I've done a fibroblast treatment or microneedling treatment because when you've got open wounds on your face, the last thing you want is bacteria getting in there. And the anti-inflammatory properties help to keep everything calm so you're not gonna be breaking out too badly, you're not gonna have huge open wounds. And the microfilm that it applies over the skin helps prevent bacteria, viruses, all of that nasty stuff from getting in. The next ingredient is betaine. This is a compound extracted from sugar beet. It's an amino acid that provides fantastic moisturizing properties and also helps to control the water balance of the skin cells. But the biggest benefit of this amino acid is that it can help prevent denaturation by attracting water away from protein surfaces. It's also often added as an ingredient in many moisturizers, cleansers, etc. because what it does is it helps make them milder and less harsh on the 
skin. So another fantastic ingredient. Now we move on to another ingredient that you've probably heard of, which is niacinamide. Niacinamide, which is also known as vitamin B3, is a common ingredient in many skincare products, especially from the ordinary. This is an absolute superstar and it's got several proven beneficial properties. It can help smooth out deeper wrinkles, eliminate fine lines, help fade brown spots, discoloration blemishes, all of that stuff. It's an absolute miracle worker when it comes to rosacea and acne. So I actually suffer with rosacea and since I've started using this peptide serum, my skin has calmed down so much, the redness has disappeared, which is amazing. Another benefit of niacinamide is that it increases ceramide synthesis, which basically means it helps improve the skin's natural barrier by making it thicker, stronger, and healthier, which in turn obviously helps your skin hold on to more moisture and hydration, creating plumper, younger, fresher looking skin. Now the next ingredient is one that I'm a little bit hit and miss with, which is glycerin. Sometimes I act a little bit strangely to glycerin, but that could be a product specific issue rather than a glycerin specific issue. The reason I say that is because glycerin is naturally found in our skin. So it would be a bit strange if I was allergic to something that's already in my skin. Like otherwise I'd be breaking out in hives and clawing away with like a fork and a hairbrush at my face constantly. So yeah, I'm going to assume it's product specific. But glycerin comes with so many great benefits. So it's a natural moisturizer. It helps to restore our natural skin barrier. It protects against irritation and keeps the skin lipids between the skin cells, which in turn keeps everything much healthier. If you suffer from eczema or you just have excessively dry skin, a glycerin based moisturizer or serum is going to work wonders on your skin. So if that sounds like you, then keep your eye out for glycerin based cosmetics. Now there's a couple of suspect ingredients in here that many beauty gurus are completely against, especially if they're all about natural organic beauty. Now the first one that you will find in here is ethanol. Now the reason that ethanol has got such a bad reputation is that it's known to be drying on the skin, which is why it's often used in toners. But what you need to remember is that when you remove moisture from the skin, it can always be replaced. And when it's included in a peptide serum or a moisturizer, nine times out of 10, the ethanol is gonna dry the skin out so that other ingredients ingredients can be absorbed by the skin. So while it's got a bad reputation, it actually serves a beneficial purpose. So ethanol is a go for me. It's something that I'm more than happy to have inside my cosmetics. But the fact that I also suffer with combination oily skin means that it really doesn't have much of an impact on me. It might be slightly different if your skin is excessively dry. But again, as I say, there are a lot of hydrating ingredients in here, such as hyaluronic acid, barrier restorers, snail slime, copper peptides. It's all in there and it's all going to pump your skin back with moisture. So don't be scared of ethanol. It's really not that bad. A few other ingredients that I want to quickly touch on that are included in this EGF peptide serum are safflower extract, punica granatum fruit extract, eleuthero root extract, thyme, alpinum, mallow flower, bambusa vulgaris, and ethyl hexyl glycerin, which helps create a more emollient texture with cosmetics and acts as a natural deodorant. So basically, that is the complete ingredients list for the Coxit Intensive EGF Peptide Serum. Like I say, I've now been using this for around about three and a half months, and in combination with my other skin treatments, I can honestly say that this is possibly the best addition to my routine. In fact, it does so much and outperformed everything else so well that I've completely done away with my The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, The Ordinary Niacinamide. I still use the Argiraline because I love the... Botox like effects that it has on the skin for softening the wrinkles but this has pretty much replaced around about six or seven different serums and creams that I was using. It's actually surprisingly affordable for the number of ingredients that it contains and the benefits it provides on the skin. Now I'm not claiming that my skin looks fantastic just because of this because this is actually quite a recent addition. Now I've noticed huge changes with this but I would actually say that my radio frequency and fibroblasting treatments have been the two main reasons why my skin has changed so much. But I'm also a big fan of topicals and when it comes to things that really do work, I want to share it with you guys and talk more about it and let you know a little bit more about what I know about it, hopefully helping you to understand the scientific side a little bit better. But seriously guys, you don't need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on EGF serums and peptides when you can get a great one that works for less than $40. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. If you've got any other questions whatsoever about this serum, about its ingredients, about what I do to my skin to keep it looking as good as I can, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please make sure you give me a like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload new content. And yeah, guys, that's about it. So until next time, see ya.